Here we are with another video, and in this video, I will be talking about William and Kate separation. Oh, yes. Here we go again. I mean, this is a true show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a true show. Oh, yes. Oh, it seems that the royal icon couple isn't working through this last cheating scandal. It has gotten so bad that Kate has taken her three children and moved out over the last cheating scandal from her serial cheating husband, Prince William, with her longtime sexy friend, Rose Henberry. I did a video about this. I will leave the link below or you can just click it at the end of this video. Anyway, Kate, who has lost some weight because of this, even though she has always been skinny, but she lost some weight and is forced to wear thick clothes to subside the rumors. But she asked William to accept a trial separation because she can't stand being near him. Oh, and the rumor is she has always been fond over Prince Harry. He makes her laugh, among other things. We all know Prince Harry is a really funny guy. Anyway, you know, I was watching, yes, story time. <laughs> I was watching one of my favorite detective shows called Death in Paradise and the one episode was of a murder of the town gigolo. Anyway, among the many women he escorted, one of them was a judge. Now the judge was set up with him through a former assistant. She needed a date for a banquet or something. Anyway, upon finding out that he was who he was, she was furious. I mean, a judge with a man like him, come on now, the tabloids would love it. But she kept hiring him, though, and she became a suspect in his death. You see, she lied upon them questioning her the first time. So when they found out that she hired him multiple times, she had to face the humiliation of the truth because they thought that she was in love with him or something like the rest of his clients. And I remember what she said because I slightly agree. They asked her, why did you hire him so many times when you told us that you wouldn't be seen dead with a man like him? Were you in love with him? She said with watery eyes, no, I was in love of who I was with him. When she said that, I almost cried because I've been in a situation like that before, whereas you get caught up with life, work, and normal life, whereas you start to lose yourself. And when a man comes along, he makes you laugh, among other things. You crave it more, but you're not in love with him and you never will be, but you are in love with the person you lost and missed dearly that he brought out. So with that being said, Prince William and this Rose lady may have been seeing each other because I saw the videos of them two, you know, together and him with his brother and then with Kate, he's two different people. In one video, he's laughing, dancing, getting his fill on and just happy. Then with Kate, he's serious and acting like the perfect prince, father, grandson and soon to be king. However, Kate is different too. With Prince Harry, she is too laughing, smiling, and more relaxed. Then with William, she barely smiled unless the opportunity presented itself. So keep that in mind while I'm talking here, okay? Now, it has been told that Kate has left and the Queen's, I mean, she's furious that things had gotten so out of hand. I mean, she was told to have said that she expected Kate to have more sense. Little George is going to be king because there is simply no way the royal family will allow him to be raised by commoners. So don't think she didn't order William to settle things with his wife, but Kate won't see him. Heck, the Queen and Harry both tried taking her out and make some public appearances, but that didn't work. Kate is done. Oh, William is told to not wanting to really work it out with her either, but feel obligated to. And he feels like he too should have had the option to marry who he loves, just like his brother. Meanwhile, mm -hmm, cunning Camilla is enjoying this and is told to be trying to capitalize on Kate's pain. It was told that she is telling anyone who listened, including the queen. I mean, she is saying that she and Charles must stay together and call off their divorce because she feels that they will provide stability needed to ensure the monarchy will survive. Oh, I'm not done yet. Camilla even added that William and Harry have made a mess of things. <laughs> yeah, this is coming from her mouth. Picking low born brides. Simply ignoring the scandal caused by her own rapid affair with Charles when he was married to the late Princess Diana. I guess that and a lot of other scandals and sick secrets that her being the descendant of gold diggers and prostitutes has slipped the drunk's mind, among other things. 
I'm just saying, okay? However, Kate getting back to them. I'm getting back to Kate now. Kate isn't going, I mean, she isn't going to be driven to attempt suicide like the late Princess Diana had done several times. She is unable to turn a blind eye to all of this. I mean, this guy spread it all over the world, you guys. Guys, this is a global scandal about Prince William cheating because they had video pictures. A lot of things that you and I have not seen, they have solid proof that he did actually cheat on her. Well, he's been cheating, but it's got leak that he's cheating. Let me just say that, okay? <laughs> anyway, so she's devastated by the nasty whispers that he's been cheating. But in my opinion, and I'm going to say it again, I think she knew he was cheating, but hate that it got out, just like Wendy Williams. She knew Prince William was never deeply in love with her. However, Williams wants to put this behind him and do whatever to subside the fears, even if it means faking it, which is what he's been doing. Heck, they can do a Meghan and Harry and hold hands. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm not. But let's be serious. Okay, let's be serious. William has been carrying a torch for Rose for years. I mean, she was titled the one who got away. Yes, literally that's what she was titled. And Kate is jealous because William is always praising Rose's grace and beauty. Not to mention Rose's blue blood. Her title is Marchioness of Chonomaly. And her grandmother, Lady Rose Lambert, was a childhood friend of Queen Elizabeth for crying out loud. She even went to their wedding and sat next to Prince Harry wearing a dazzling tiara at his first state banquet in 2017. I can go on, but I think you get the freaking picture. But note that she and her family has money. So she would have been a great ally slash addition to the royal family if she would have married um, Prince William. Oh, and Kate is told to be crying herself to sleep every night. This is real, y'all. Now, just like always, they would eventually have to put up a public front and be seen together. All loving and laughing <laughs> and all that fake crap. Just like Prince Charles and the witch Camilla had to do. You know, just like I said about Wendy Williams, Jenny Ma, and Adrian, even though you guys may know, you know, I'm just going to let that go. They slash Kate knew this <laughs> was going on. Just saying. Kate knew he was cheating. She's not a freaking idiot. She may be a baby machine, but she's not a freaking idiot. She just hate that it got out. I'm just saying. Okay? Oh, yes. And tell me your thoughts below. You can get an inside look at a listed videos and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Hey, but there's more. Check out these.